So there we go. Dutch grits with parmesan cheese and ham and some good strong coffee. Breakfast of champions. I think they like me. So welcome back to my channel. It's been a while but I thought I'd start things off uh, quite nicely with a recipe I want to show you called Dutch grits with parmesan cheese and ham. It's really something special. Usually in the Netherlands we only eat grits uh, kind of sweet like for, for dessert. Uh, but I thought I'd change things up and show you how to make a kind of savory way to eat it. It's perfect for lunch, dinner, breakfast. I eat it well whenever I can really. Uh, let me gather up some firewood and get things cooking and in the mean meantime uh, let me show you my good friend Mr. Rock. He's really friendly. Well I thought it'd be nice to show you guys uh, my current cooking kit. Uh, I keep everything in a canteen pouch like this. kind of like it because it's uh, waterproof on the inside and it keeps, uh, well basically it only serves to keep uh, the, the suit for my billy can off, uh, off of the rest of my clothes. Uh, this is my main cooking kit. I use a, a, a custom-made aluminium lid. Very handy, very light. Inside is my solar stove. I think you've all seen it. It's a very handy wood gas stove. Very light also. Uh, my main cooking vessel is my snow peak. It's seen much use. It's very light, very handy, and surprisingly sturdy for a small, thin titanium uh, cooking pot. The aluminium lid fits perfectly, and much better than the, the one they gave you with it. They gave you with the Snow Peak, because this fits flush and doesn't have the risk of it falling off while you're boiling water. And I use a small, uh, well basically it's a dog bowl for, uh, for a plate, and it all fits perfectly. As you can see. Well, first let me show you guys what I'm going to use to make the Dutch grits with parmesan cheese and ham. Uh, first up you'll need some water, uh, some grits obviously mixed in with milk powder. Uh, the Dutch grits are uh, kind of smaller and I think the main difference is that uh, American grits are boiled in water and the Dutch grits are boiled in milk, but I'm not really sure what the entirely sure what the difference really is. So, if you guys have any uh, uh, tips or, or uh, know the difference, uh, please let me know because I'm uh, I'm rather curious. Uh, you also need some good Parmesan cheese, uh, some ham or smack or spam, whatever uh, the the stuff is called in your country. You know the kind, uh, the the canned stuff. Uh, a bouillon cube or a broth cube. Uh, use chicken broth and a little knob of butter. Well, first we have to heat some water up, so here goes. You can see the wood is gasifying. It's time to put on the water. And it's important to not to let this come to a boil yet. Uh, we're going to heat it up, then put in the bouillon cube, and then stir in the grits. Uh, but we don't want it to come to a boil yet. So we're looking for just some heat in the water. So once the water is hot to the touch, you can stir in the bouillon cube. I like to break it up a little bit before I do, and then stir the rest in. There we go. Just stir it up so it gets a chance to break up and dissolve in the hot water. Alright, that's heating up quite nicely, so now it's time to pour in the grits. There we go. And now stir well because it has a tendency to clump up. 
And you'll notice the grit's almost dissolving in the water, but that's fine because it'll thicken up really nice uh, soon enough. Now, keep stirring that while you heat up, heat up the water some more and let it uh, come to a boil. And when it boils, we'll let it boil for about, I think about 10 seconds, 20 seconds and we'll take it off of the fire. But in the meantime it's important to keep on stirring because you won't want it to burn uh, the inside of your of your pot and as you know titanium pots especially have a tendency to burn. The grits are starting to thicken up a little bit as they soak in the water. So we're just going to let this come to a boil and then take it off the fire. There we go the grits are boiling time to take it off but continue to stir because in titanium pots like this it'll just keep on burning for a while, so best to keep on stirring. So now it's time to add the cheese. Add as much as you like. I like mine uh, quite cheesy because it lends a certain creaminess and, and you know, cheesiness uh, to the uh, to the dish. But whatever you do, stir in little bits at a time. Otherwise, it'll clump together and. It's, well, it's, it's still good, but I'd really prefer it like this. So as you stir in the first batch, add in the second until you get the level of cheesiness that you wish. As you can see, it's melting together quite nicely, thickening up the last bit of the cheese. Give it a final stir and then put the lid back on. So I'm cutting up the ham into small pieces. You can make them as fine as they like as you put them in uh, in the final stage. Uh, they don't. The ham doesn't really need cooking because it's pre-cooked. It's just uh, nice to have it warmed up. There we go. Mix in the ham with the grits. That's enough mix it up. That will also give us, as you can see, the cheesy bits melting inside the grits. Gives us a chance to give that a stir as well. It's a good idea to uh, give it a stir once uh, every five minutes for about well, 50 minutes or so. It'll stay nice and warm. To break up the cheese, but it's coming along quite nicely. And every time you do, you get a chance to lick a spoon. Put the lid back on. And I think I'll have it sit there as I uh, prepare some coffee. Let me give it a quick taste for you guys, so you can, you can see from my expression how good this is. Mm. Mm. It's full of cheesy, mm. it's cheesy, it's creamy, 
it's rich, it's the perfect breakfast. And it goes perfect alongside a double espresso. Mm. Nothing like having coffee in the woods. Well, there we go, guys. Uh, in my opinion, one of the truly great outdoor breakfast recipes there is. Uh, grits with parmesan cheese and ham. It's rich, it's creamy, it's savory, you can make it as sweet as you want if you include a little bit of sugar. And it goes really well with some good outdoor coffee. So I hope you guys enjoy the recipe and hope, and I do hope you'll try it for yourself. So you can see just how good this is. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my breakfast and prepare for the hike home. See you guys soon and happy baking.